Hi, my name is Dr. Ariel and I am an orthodontist. I get questions all the time about how to become an orthodontist and what specific steps I took to get to this point. So I am going to go through all of the specific steps that you need to take to become an orthodontist, including how much total time you'll have to be in school to make this happen. The very first step on this journey is to graduate high school and start your undergraduate education. When you get to undergrad, you'll have to pick a major and start taking different courses. You can pick any major once you get to undergrad. The most important thing is to make sure you're taking all of the required courses for dental school. These are called prerequisites, and these courses can be found on any dental school admission website. So what I would recommend is to look up the different dental schools that you're interested in, check their admission website, and see what classes are required for you to be admitted into their school. And those are the courses you wanna make sure you take while you're an undergrad. Typically, undergrad is completed in four years, which was the case for me. I went to DePaul University in Chicago, but that's not always the case. Some people may graduate in three years while others may take five or six years. Whatever length of time is not as important, what's really important is that you graduate with your bachelor's degree and then the year before you want to start dental school, that's when you would apply. So for me, I started applying during my third year of undergrad because I wanted to start dental school directly after my senior year of undergrad. So it's really important to make sure you line everything up, including your dental admission test or the DAT, so you can have a complete application when you're ready to apply. Now, it's really important to note, you don't have to go straight from undergrad to dental school. Some people take time off and work before they start dental school. Whatever path you take is fine. I just want you to make sure that the year before you would like to start, that's when you apply. For me personally, I knew I wanted to become an orthodontist for a very long time since I was really young, so I didn't want to take any breaks in between. I wanted to make sure I got through it, but some people have a different path and maybe they're not sure after undergrad and they want to take a year to think about it. That's okay. Just make sure to apply the year before you would like to start. Once you finish undergrad and start dental school, you'll be in dental school for another four years. I went to Marquette University School of Dentistry and was there for four years. There is one three-year dental school out there, but I would count to be in school for four years for dental school because that's the most common. During those four years of dental school, you are going to learn a lot about multiple aspects of dentistry. This is because they are training you to become a general dentist, and typically general dentists do a little bit of everything. And this is nice for someone who doesn't know if they want to specialize or not, or maybe they don't know what specialty they want to go to, because you get a little bit of everything while you're in dental school, so you can decide from that point if you would like to specialize and what route you would like to take. Now again, for me, I always knew I wanted to do orthodontics from a young age. So when I got to dental school, I knew that and I kept that in mind throughout everything. But some people, maybe they decided once they were in school and that's totally fine. The important thing here, just like in undergrad, you have to apply during that year before you would like to start. So for me, again, I wanted to go straight through. So during my third year of dental school, that's when I applied for orthodontic residency. Once you complete those four years of dental school, you'll graduate to become a dentist because you have to become a dentist before you become an orthodontist. And then it's time to start the orthodontic residency program. For me, I attended Indiana University School of Dentistry for my orthodontic residency program, and that was a two-year program. But there are some three-year programs out there. So for residency, you're looking at either two or three years. Once you complete that two or three year orthodontic residency program, you are officially an orthodontist after all of that time in school. So let's recap the total time it takes. So you have four years of undergrad, and then you have four years of dental school, and then you have either a two or three year orthodontic residency program. And that brings us to a total time of 10 to 11 years post high school to become an orthodontist. And there you have it. Those are all of the steps that you need to take to become an orthodontist. Be sure to like and subscribe if you thought this video was helpful. And if you have any other questions that I could answer, please leave them in the comments below.